Welcome. I'd like to do another review. This time of the queer tarot deck. Comes with a really lovely guide. Amazing colors. The deck and book is Rizzo printed, which is a really special type of ink printing where all of these amazing colors pop off the page. And I'd like to show you the deck and uh, maybe pull a couple cards. So let's get to it. I hope you're all well. The packaging is gorgeous and I'm not one for all of the excessive packaging that most decks come with now. But I end up repurposing the boxes and using them for storage of other sacred objects. And then there's just sort of this kind of thing, which I don't know if it can be recycled, but what are you gonna do? I'd like my tarot deck when I'm done and it's printed and it goes out into the world to just be a little box like this and come with a small book, but whatever. You know, I'm not here to shit on somebody else's dream. Look at that color. Ah! So the backs have this gorgeous wonky checkerboard and the images, oh, so good. Queer tarot. And one thing that's really fabulous is that this deck has models and the names of the people who modeled for these gorgeous illustrations are written in the book and a little something about it. I love that. I love their outfits. I wanna make like half of the clothes that people have in this deck. I, I'm like, I wanna dress like that. Oh my God. Cat dog, mm, precious. This is a wonderful deck. It's based on the Rider Waite Smith deck and has much of the same sentiment, except the people who are modeling and who are in the illustrations are real people. And so it definitely has an energy of modern, queer, inclusive. And I believe that the colors really just lend to that type of energy. Oh my God, look at her, her blue lipstick is matching. The shoes, oh my God, seriously, I love her. Her, him, they, all, all, oh my God, look at this. Hey, seriously, a bicorn? Yeah, that's happening, Knight of Pentacles. Oh, yay, they did it, they tied the knot. Ugh. So beautiful, so beautiful. Such generosity in these illustrations. And there's something fresh about it. And maybe it's just more energetic than anything. Oh, yeah, I want that dress. Hello. Oh, get her little jammies on, a little sad face jammies. I'm sorry, baby. Oh. Love them. Oh, yay, more corn. Lots of trucks and buses going by today. It's a beautiful sunny day. Feels like summer, even though it was just uh, freezing 31 degrees the other night, two nights ago. Well, whatever. The devil. I really like this illustration. It doesn't feel as ominous and gross as some of the other devil cards do. They're just like, Ugh. hey, what are you ashamed of? I don't have time for that. Hmm. Three of cups, celebrate. Oh, page of swords. Man, always on the defense, huh? But looking fabulous. <gasps> Look at this outfit. So good. Oh my God. So sweet. Six of Cups, Nostalgia, Childhood, Sharing. Mmm. 
King of Pentacles, your plaid pants are life. <sighs> Even the dog is fashionable. Is that another dog? Dog cat. It's just a dog cat. I'm just going to call it that. I really love when artists challenge some of the energetic meanings of the traditional Rider Waite Smith deck. And they add a layer, they add a spin, they add something personal from their life or their experiences in on those amazing illustrations. These were a gift from my dear friend Andy, either for, I don't know, maybe I'll say it was a solstice gift. Even though it was really hard for him to wait to give them to me. Ugh. Queer love. Friendship. I love when that happens. Yeah, five of cups. Mm, don't only look forward. You got two full ones behind you. But I understand heartbreak is no joke. The hanged man. Get the upside down jacket is really gorgeous. Mm. Yay. Nine of Pentacles. Ugh. Enjoy your garden, baby. Mmm. Again, I need this outfit. So any of you queer bows out there, get this deck. It is created, illustrated by Ashley Molesso and Chess Needham. So you can find it and support them and their artwork. And no, I'm not paid. I'm just a tarot collector and avid reader and lover of art. What? Heck yeah. Look at this. So it's like, okay, yes, the seven of wands. You may be in some sort of argument situation, but you've got all of the star energy, all of the support, the backing is there and also looking fabulous. The star. Hell yeah, you're a star, baby. Ooh. All right, Page of Cups. It's not all that it looks like. High Priestess. Yaw. Empress. Emperor. Ugh. Seriously? Do -dum 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 -dum. And these boots are made for walking and that's just what they'll do five of swords is gonna walk all over you bom, 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 bom. maybe getting cut down to size this i think is one of my favorites of all of the illustrations i don't know i just love it reminds me of gaga hey my, my, my poker face, my poker face. Oh my goodness. Hey, Chariot. Hey. The world. Sometimes you just gotta greet the world in your undies. It happens. Mmm. Ten of Pentacles. Happy house and home. Things are working out. They're coming to fruition. Oh, yes. Well, it may be the Nine of Wands. Looking back, kind of assessing how far you've come. Strength. That's right. You are stronger than you think. Mm, dishonesty. Knight of Swords. Bum, ba -da -bum. Look at the side eye. Look at the side eye. Look at the eye. Look at the eye. So good. And I love how they read. I'm done doing this some cards for us oh charity waiting on some the next thing coming would be the charity this is feeling like you're not exactly in a place where you have what you need it's coming so let me do a little shuffy shuffle it's another thing I like when cards have a matte finish Sometimes the shiny finish, those cards could be a little extra slippery. And I don't really care for that. And yes, I do read the inverse as... 
slightly different than the upright. And in that case, like, it changes the meaning on some of the cards. And in regards to the rest, it will be like something's coming down the pike. Or you are not seeing it as it really is. And it's not a general consensus across the board. It's more so you're intuitively getting to know your cards. So for those of you who are learning tarot, just for the, the fun of it, I suggest you work with one deck that really speaks with you. Get to know that deck before moving on to a variety of different types of illustrated cards. So when I first started tarot, I worked on every day I'd pull a card and I would energetically read that card. So a couple months in, I'd gone through the whole deck and had a personal relationship with those cards. And like, I must have done this in past lives because I picked up that deck and it was like, oh, I knew exactly what the hell they were saying. Like it just spoke to me. So, present, things leaving, things coming in. All right. Beautiful. The nine of pentacles. Really feeling solid, feeling grounded, able to look around and see reality for what it truly is. Able to appreciate, to put gratitude, to sow the seeds in your garden that take as long as they take page of pentacles so in the past you know I had been kind of waiting on other people a lot in a way that was sort of ironic because it was like waiting to help people or waiting to find out if someone needed me and and I, I had to learn a hard lesson and saying like, well, there's different boundaries. Like someone needs you, you need to have a window there, you know? So what I'll say is that those of you who are drawn to see this have been going through that too. Like having to put boundaries in on your time and how you emote, how you share your space, how you share your belongings, how you share your body. You don't have to wait for another person to give you that permission or denial because you see what you're doing you look around you you see what you've built and you know what you deserve and it's a full garden baby and okay oh all right so we have the four of wands in reverse yes this is what i want i want a happy home i want a, a solid partnership and in reverse here it's saying like not yet. Yeah, we know you want this. We know you're like in it to win it, but not ready. Not ready. Not ready. So let's look at the bottom of the deck, which is something I also like to do to kind of get an overall answer, secondary answer on what's the mojo. Judgment. I know I have, but have you been judging yourself? Do you feel ready? Do you feel ready to receive with gratitude? Do you feel ready to receive love, open love, unconditional love, safety in a relationship? A lot of people may just automatically say yes without really thinking about it. But like going deep into your emotions, deep into your soul and saying, do I really feel ready? How do I judge myself? How do I judge myself in ways that hinders my flow and process? So this would be the overarching theme of what needs to be addressed is how do we judge ourselves? Let's look and say, okay, I've been a loving friend. I've been a loving person in people's lives. I am available, but you know what? Mm, I have to have tighter boundaries. Okay. I'm feeling really grateful for where I'm at. I still got a ways to go, 
but I am judging myself. I'm my own roadblock. How are you your own roadblock? I don't know. Something to think about. Well, I love you. And thank you for watching. And be well. Love yourself. Create healthy boundaries. And be grateful for how far you've come.